It's gonna be the loudest bird I've ever heard. I don't know if you guys can hear that bird or not. I don't know what that is. Hey guys, welcome back my friends once again to Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango W3CT, your good old friend Jack, and this is my ham radio journey. Guys, today we're gonna to talk a little bit about exper experimentation and being a little complacent. Sound interesting to you? I hope you stick around right after this. All right, guys, so today what we're talking about, obviously, is experimenting. All right, bird, fly south. It's warm out today. He thinks it's summertime. Anyway, so yeah, um, where was I? Oh, as I was saying, I think we get very complacent as ham operators. I think we tend to do all the time what we know is going to work, okay? But being a ham operator, I feel it's, it's my duty, right? Because we are the, we're supposed to be the amateur radio communicators, right? Uh, we put a lot of time, effort, a lot of money into amateur radio. And, you know, you should experiment. You should learn. So today was nothing more than an experiment. Um, I don't know if you've seen my last video or not. And uh, I don't even know if I posted it. But I talked about the G90 and going on 30 meters and it not keying up. I thought something was wrong with the radio. I was like, wow, the radio must be broken. And I thought, wow, I really need to get right back into the field to find out, you know, if it is or not. Um, I don't have a 30 meter antenna at home. I have a 10 through 40 antenna, 10 through 40, yeah. And it will not tune up on 30 meters. So I have no way of checking this at home um, I guess I could have strung a wire up, but it's more fun to come out in the field anyway. So today's experiment was, can I do a successful, a complete successful um, activation? Must be hunters in the woods there. A POTA activation. Um, and I didn't film any of the activations, so don't get too excited about it. Because like I said, there's some really good people out there activating. I like watching them. But what I'm talking about today is... We get to the thing where we, we know what works. I know 20 meters will work on an activation. I come out, I can activate in minutes and be good to go. So, oh, those are joggers. It's a nice day to run. The guy's got shorts on. It's about 40 degrees. Why not? <laughs> anyway, so with that said, um, I wanted to come out and do a different type, you know, something different. I wanted to see how far I can reach on different bands. And in watching Aaron, and I'll put Aaron's call sign right here, he does a lot of CW activations. And he's a, he's a really great guy. He say loves doing CW in the field. And Aaron's a nice. He's a younger guy. So I like watching younger guys. I know you guys are watching me, and I'm an older guy. Sorry about that. But what I'm talking about is he activated on 30 meters. And I told my wife this morning, I just want to go out and see if the radio will work on 30 meters. I'll get to that in a second. And... What I needed to do first was, it wasn't working with the Wolf River coil. Even though it tuned, it wasn't working. And I thought it was the antenna. It was me. Anyway, so what I did was, today to experiment, I put up my random wire here. If you can see it in the tree. Here, I'll try to get the camera up a little higher. Oh, there we go. So I'm getting ready to tear everything down there. But that's the antenna up in the tree. That's my counterpoise. And yes, I know it's long. It's about, I don't know, like 900 feet long. No, it's pretty long. But that is a, I believe that wire, I think I cut that at 49 feet. I think that's what that wire, it's speaker wire on a nine to one on none, okay? My curse comes down. You can see there's my air choke, okay? Can you see the air choke? Comes down and it goes right into the window of the car over there, all right? So, with that said, I know the sun's going to backlight me here. Let's go this way. All right. Lighting is everything, right? So with that said, I wanted to do some experimentation today. And I didn't want to just be complacent and come out here and jump on 20 meters, activate, and be out of here, right? I knew I have time today. It's a, it's a decent day to hang a wire in a tree. Um, the other side of the wire, I'll take you for a walk up here, um, goes up in another tree. And I'll tell you something funny about that also. Uh, Something else, I'm in the car activating, a guy calls me, I go to call him back and I look up. And what I do when I run these things in the trees, 
is instead of tying it off to the tree lately, I've just been grabbing one of my tent stakes, okay? So here you go. Here's the tent stake. This came out of the ground that was swinging uh, about up there, but the wire is just stuck on that little branch up there. You see that branch? Like a really small branch there. It's just stuck on that little branch up there. Why? Well, obviously because it's because I missed the big one, okay? That's why. I missed the big branch and I took what I had there. So anyway, so I fired the radio up. I got on 30 meters and I thought, okay, is it going to work? Well, I was looking really, really closely at it. And here's a, I'm gonna try to put dub a picture in here of the front of the radio. But if you can see really closely there, the small little writing, the radio, when the G90, this is something that you guys might want to know, is set by default to sideband. So as you change frequencies, unless you change it, it will be on sideband. So when I keyed up the other day, I didn't see it. It was on sideband. So that's, uh, that's why the radio didn't work. So I'm sure it'll work fine with the, with the uh, vertical, the Wolf River coil vertical. But here's the thing, guys. On 30 meters, I activated in... Um, I activated in 23 minutes. So, you know what I mean? It, it, it's something you know, I was experimenting, seeing how far I got. Now, most of it was East Coast. I think the furthest I made it uh, from here in Pennsylvania was Georgia. So, what I'm saying that for is the experimenting part is, wonder if the 20-meter band is wiped out, right? Wonder if we don't have the 40-meter band. Wonder if it's all you have is the work bands uh, to work with. And everybody knows during contests, which I'm guilty, I love working contests too. During contest times, you know, the main bands are, are filled up. Jump over to the work bands, you know. You spot yourself on the POTA page anyway, which is the uh, kind of our cheap amplifier, I guess, because you put your name out there and people can see you. So if they hear you, they can work you, right? So then anyway, I thought, well... I didn't want to get on 20 and 40 at all today. That was that was my goal, to stay off of 20 and 40. So what I did then was I did switch over to 15 meters, and I called CQ, oh, geez, 20 times maybe. Now, mind you, I don't have a CW keyer, a memory keyer. Uh, I need to buy one. But anyway, working the key, is not it's not killed me. So I called CQ 20 or 30 times, and I made one contact on 15 meters. So I thought next thing to experiment with this antenna is, okay, the next thing we want to do is let's go over and see if it'll tune up on 17 meters. I, I've never made a contact on 17 meters. Never. I mean, from home, I can't because I don't have the antenna for it. So I jump on 17 meters. I start calling CQ. Sure enough, I think I got four or five on 17 meters. So, I mean, a total today was, the total today was what, 20, 20, 22, I think, today total. So not a bad day. I mean, nothing to write home about, but I mean, it was more of an experimentation. Now, the last thing I want to tell you about this antenna before I wrap this video up here, I don't want to make this too long and too winded. The last thing I tell you about the antenna is I was curious to see if a random wire, a 49 foot random wire, because I want to put a random wire up at home because I have no way of getting on 80 meters, right? So would it tune on 80? Sure enough, it tuned up on 80 meters and, uh, I could key up and the SWR never moved. And could I tune up on 160? Surely not. Surely the antenna is not long enough for 160. It tuned up. The G90 tuned up on 160. It was ready to go. Obviously, it's not nighttime. There's nobody there. Nobody I could find tuning around the dial there. But it was just experimenting, right? So the purpose of this video, and I hope you guys get the just of it, the just, just of it, is that experiment out there guys get out there and do something you don't normally do uh it, maybe even if you're not a pod activation you're just a ham operator right string a wire off the back of your house and try to do something you've never done before i think well i know that's the part of the hobby that i like experimenting i don't think it will ever get old uh, as long as you're always trying something new right you have a goal in your mind uh, as today i knew i wanted to activate 30 meters you know and i did that so my next goal was just to see if I can make any contacts on some of the other bands, especially, like I said, 17. I've never worked anyone, so that was nice. It was nice to get that on there. 
So guys, I hope this video helps you out. I hope you do some experience. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think about a 49 foot random wire tuning up on 160, man? That was awesome. I didn't think it would do it, you know, because I was thinking of putting one up at home and I was looking at, I think the other random, the other random number I'm thinking is 80, is it 89 feet? 84 feet, it might be 84 feet. Uh, I was thinking of putting an 84 foot, well, I got the room for it, so why not? First, I got to make a 9 to 1 onion because this one travels with me, so I don't want to put this one on the house permanently. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully, it was helpful. Um, you know, hopefully, you, you'll experiment with some stuff and, you know, see how it goes. Uh, like I did today, man. Had a lot of fun. Uh, so, I'm going to pack up, get out of here, and get home. So, I will talk to you next time. This is Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango at W3CT, your good old friend Jack. This is my ham radio journey, guys. If you like this kind of video, give it a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button, man. I would appreciate it. To all the subscribers out there, thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Hopefully, you're finding these videos interesting. And, you know, like I always tell you, I never know what I'm going to film next. But hopefully, it's something new, okay? Something uh, different for you. So, take care, everybody. Hope to catch you guys on the airways. 73s. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.